only Falca. After Viljeferts defeated Geralt in the Thanid coup, which caused substantial character changes for all the Witcher protagonists, Ciri mistakenly traveled to the Korath desert through a portal in Tor Lara. The lion cub of Sintra saw hallucinations and glimpses of some of her loved ones there, before finally running into a shadowy figure that had been stalking her, Falca. When she encountered the rats at the conclusion of The Witcher Season 3, Ciri ultimately chose to go by her name to conceal her identity. However, who is Falca and why is she significant to Ciri? Falca's backstory in The Witcher explained, Unlike other characters in Netflix's The Witcher, Falca is a character taken from Andridge Sapkowski's books. Falca is a quarter-elf woman and the oldest daughter of Redania's King Vridink and his first wife, Beatrix of Cover. When King Vridink met Saro, he quickly divorced Queen Beatrix and sent her and then one-year-old Falca back to Cover. Years later, Falca was determined to take back what was rightfully hers as the king's eldest child, and so she started a rebellion. Falca killed her father, her two half-brothers, Heltmolt and Denherd, and Queen Saro. Saro's adopted daughter and the fourth great-grandmother of Ciri was imprisoned in Houtberg Castle. Rhiannon gave birth to twins and went mad, and around the same time, Falca also gave birth to a girl and left her in the hands of a now insane Rhiannon. Some time later, the rebellion was quelled, and Falca was tried and condemned to die by burning on a stake. The legends say that Falca cursed all the people present, and promised that they and their progeny would suffer in the hands of a child that would bear her blood. Why Ciri calls herself Falca in The Witcher Season 3's ending. At the conclusion of The Witcher Season 3, Ciri adopts Falca's name, which is also inspired by the books. Falca first appeared to Ciri in the source material during a pyromantic vision brought on by her use of fire magic, but she now appears to the Princess of Sintra in the Korath Desert. During one of her most vulnerable times, Falca informs her that she is the past and that they share the trait of being crazy princesses who were abandoned by people who were supposed to look out for them. Falca showed Ciri the location where she would eventually be taken as a prisoner, and when Falca related her tale, Ciri recognized her. At the end of The Witcher Season 3, when the rats, who had just rescued her and Kaylee, asked for her name, Ciri introduced herself as Falca, showing that she took her advice of feeling her rage and burning everything to the ground to change the system as she so wanted. Ciri is now embracing a dark side of her that had to come out as she found herself in extreme and dangerous circumstances, and calling herself Falca marks a division between her past as the lion cub of Sintra and a witcher, and her present as a potential killer.